guys, welcome to another episode of Moscow Chef. This is your boy Mbui, the M is still silent. And today's episode we're going to focus on post-workout nutrition. Why it's important and how you can really build these muscles right here. Also, today marks a milestone. I have a special guest, our first guest actually. And uh, I don't need to introduce this guy, he'll introduce himself. So let's get cooking. Memo to myself, get a bigger kitchen. We barely have space here. No introduction, I'll let him introduce himself. Hi hey guys, my name is uh, Andy Moloma. I'm a Steve's cousin and um, I play for the Green Bay Packers. I'm um, going into my second year as an outside linebacker. You heard that right. So we have my cousin here, professional football player. And given that we're going to talk about post-workout nutrition, we're going to ask Andy what his uh, nutrition looks like after a tough workout. Because one thing he knows about is definitely tough workout. Right? Correct. And uh, one thing I need to have in my plates is a lot of protein after workout. And uh, i got to make sure to, f to feed those muscles, get some recovery from my body. And uh, I've been telling you guys, protein gains. I thought I was big. I thought I was muscular. <laughs> but <laughs> I think this guy should be the muscular chef. But uh, as you mentioned, protein. You want to make sure that you consume enough protein, obviously. Uh, repairs, you know, muscle tissue, muscle growth. Uh, protein is your go-to uh, nutrient after a tough workout and usually I would suggest to all my clients that you want to consume a protein shake if you have one uh, on the spot at least five minutes after your uh, workout and then when you get home and then you can prepare a nice healthy meal that's when you include something of a lean protein such as uh, meat or you know also tuna of some sort so how much protein do you consume after a workout normally uh, like you said, I do get my protein shake after the workout okay. right away. Right. Uh, that's one thing uh, I usually do. Okay. And, uh, we have the luxury to have our cafeteria right across the, uh, across the hall from our locker room. So I just make sure that when I get done with my, taking my shower and everything, I'm, yeah. I'm going off to the cafeteria, get my protein, get my food, my chicken, uh, pasta, some salad on the side, and a bowl of fruit. Okay. Tell them the truth. Tell the world the truth. <laughs> I've barbecued at your annual barbecue two years in a row. I've cooked for you. You've eaten my food. My food compared to your cafeteria food. Which one is better? And don't you say because you're my cousin. Tell him the truth. I gotta go with the brother. Man. Yeah. I gotta go with the brother. <laughs> right. Now, uh, protein intake or pro uh, protein, uh, protein quantity after workout uh, varies depending on the size of the person and also the type of workouts that you're doing. Clearly, Andy decides we're talking about like three chickens here, but you don't have to go uh, and consume that much. You just have to consume enough protein, you know, depending on your body size, um, to really allow your body to maximize on the workouts that you have just done. Uh, in terms of carbs, what type of carbs do you consume? Well, well, uh, I try to eat a lot of. I'm a pasta guy. Okay. And, uh, well, I don't eat that much cheese, so in my pasta, I'm trying to get you know. A, Mixing uh, like some chicken in there. Okay. Pasta and chicken. That's that'd be my favorite one for carbs, and uh, I think it allows me to gain my uh, my nutrients to get my nutrients up. Okay. Uh, to recover faster, okay. and it's not too heavy for me. Right. And you mentioned a good point. It's not too, it's not too heavy for you. Uh, pasta, uh, sweet potato, even white rice. That's also another great uh, type of carbs. Now, when you're consuming carbs after a workout post-workout, you want to make sure that it's the fast-acting carb. Correct. That way, you know, it's easy digestible and you can gain your energy right away. It's faster energy mm -hmm. uh, consumption in order to refuel your, uh, you know, sugar levels and uh, you know, spike your insulin levels up and stuff like that. Now, is there a preference between whole wheat pasta and, you know, the regular pasta that you buy? Or? I do go with the whole, whole wheat okay. pasta. Okay, perfect. Uh, Still yeah. get your fibers in there? Correct. Excellent. Um, personally, I like to have, like, avocado as a source of healthy fats. Correct. You know, I try to tell my clients, whether you're, depending on your goals, if you're trying to burn fat, well, you want to consume more healthy fats because that way your brain tells your body to burn more fat. If you're eating more carbs, then it's going to use the carbs as a source of energy. So if I'm trying to lose fats, just solely fat, I would include a lot of avocados in my meal. Do you have any type of, you know, healthy fats on your plates as well or? Uh, actually, no, because, uh I'm not trying to lose any fat at, right. this, at this moment. <laughs> hey, hey, he, need, he needs to keep all his fat. He's been yeah, very, it gets to, cold out there. I need so. to keep my fat correct. <laughs> I need to have uh, a little layer of fat okay. on me. So whatever, I'm trying to get some uh, 
sugar product or some healthy fat in me. Right. I'll just go with some light fruit. You know, I'll go with um, grapes. I'll go with a uh, um, how can I say mangoes? Okay. Uh, strawberries. Right. And I'll put that on the side. So that's really not that's. A lot, that's enough for me. That's, an okay. that's enough for me. All, per all perfect me. source of fast acting carbs, you Correct. know, like you know, yep. your fruits and stuff like that. So, which is also excellent. And um, I'm actually prepping something for you right now. As you can see in the back, we have veggies, right? right. You can never go wrong with veggies. Right. Even Atlas eats veggies. I'm yeah. sure you've eaten so many, so much veggies in your lifetime. So we have, you know, grilled uh, zucchini. We have um, eggplants. We also have, you know, some nice roasted um, yellow peppers, as you can see. And in the oven, I have chicken. It's okay. not a whole chicken, unfortunately, okay. but it's good. You will enjoy it, and also have a nice sweet potato. Okay. So um, I'm not sure if you've trained today. If you haven't, you can pack this, bring it out home, <laughs> train, and then you can eat it right after. Yeah. But uh, I have all the goodies, right? Just what we talked about. The plate is nice and balanced. You have the protein, you have the carbs, and you know you have your veggies, and um, you really can't go wrong. So uh, it looks delicious, man. Right? It smells good, man. It, like, good. <laughs> it smells real good, and it should be ready by now. So it's just you know big chicken. You know, season it lightly. Not a lot of salt on it, and uh, the recipe will be on the website anyways. Triple W my last rep .com. So I just you know put a little herb seasoning on it, and um, just a little chicken seasoning on it as well, and a little drizzle of olive oil. That way you know keeps the mushroom in, and it's nice and delicious. It's nice and fresh. And I also have a nice, large, baked sweet potato. And as you can see, the caramelized color is coming out. Put a few lines in it, that way you can bake faster. And uh, it just looks lovely, man. You're spoiling me, <laughs> Always, spoiling man. Me. Always. Oh, <laughs> I, uh, this right here equals to three tickets. Green Bay, <laughs> flight included. So, <laughs> you heard the first three tickets, Green Bay, pretty good seats. So, uh, this is what it is, man. Yeah, so I'm just gonna serve it up for you real quick, and uh, I'll bring it over to your table real quick. But uh, thank you very much for the information. Appreciate it, cuz. And uh, it's all good. We're gonna eat this when we're done shooting. But uh, yeah, make yourself comfortable, cuz. Appreciate it. I got Can't you. Can't wait to eat this. I got <laughs> you. Now, after a tough workout, you can consume whey protein. Now, the reason why you want to consume whey protein is because it's very rich in BCAAs. Now, I don't want to talk about any supplements at this point. This will be reserved for another episode. Uh, but you do have the choice between whey protein and casein proteins and personally i don't take supplements but i would recommend whey protein another option if you don't have protein powder uh, handy you can drink a nice chocolate milk now the chocolate milk represents a perfect balance between carbs and protein which is perfect to replenish your um, tired muscles also it's very high in water content so it does replenish like you know the water that you lost as sweat during the workout so you can never really go wrong with a nice cold chocolate milk after a tough workout. But, in the meantime, I'm gonna get to this food and uh, enjoy. Thanks for coming out today. That's for having me. It was a good day, good food. Yeah. And uh, when are you going back to Green Bay? I'm heading back on the 16th, okay. July 16th. July 16th, so right. we still got some days. Yeah, some training sure. sessions in there. Right, right. Maybe not a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not a barbecue, you gotta slow down on that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's time to focus on the training camp yeah. and all that. So, yeah. uh, you know, good luck with that. You know, we're definitely gonna get some training sessions before you leave. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Some more food, man. More, yeah, definitely more, more food. food. And also tickets um, <laughs> about that. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I <laughs> <expect> <laughs>